I got uh, some updates on Dylan Batanzas. So as you know that you know this spring his velo has been down. Um, you know last time that was going on was you know for the most part back around 2014 and 2015. But you know his last outing in Clearwater, you know it was still down. Like we hadn't been seeing the progress. So you know. You, like everything else, we you know low fly it, not over overwhelmingly concerned from it. Um, you know, been there before, but you stay engaged with your your player. You know, through your pitching coaches, your manager, and your training staff. How you feel? How do you feel? Um, and you know, he has had no complaints, no injury, no pain. Um, but he has recently then kind of opened up a little bit more about not necessarily feeling full strength. Um, you know whether it's uh, you know words of whether it's weakness or or not being able to extend fully um, and what's what's causing that you know not so certain um, and so uh, he has also shared with us that when he was going through the you know the finalization of of adding to his family that it interrupted his throwing program this winter so he didn't necessarily throw as much especially late as he normally was because obviously being there as an expectant father um, he felt that when he arrived in camp you know he was a little behind but you know didn't necessarily convey that so he kind of rushed through to catch up and uh, and so with all that being said you know you know with the the complaint uh, of him not being able to, at least in his mind, get full extension, and then um, and then uh, also feeling a little bit weak, you know, uh, and not being able to get that giddy up. We suggested, do you want to get an MRI just to to clear up that there isn't anything going on there? Uh, we hadn't had one an MRI on his shoulder for over five years, so uh, he was amenable to that. So today at 11 o'clock, he had an MRI that. Uh, that we're able to determine he has inflammation. So we're, it's right shoulder impingement. Uh, we believe the combination of, of uh, him sharing that you know his winter throwing program wasn't as precise and consistent as in previous winters, uh, because obviously the expected birth of his child, as you know, he get, showed up here obviously late you know, to be there as where he needed to be. And then uh, with probably the combination of him then rushing in the beginning of camp to catch up um, has caused inflammation uh, and the impingement you know I think that's another word for the uh, inflammation uh, in the shoulder everything else is all good um, so we're gonna you know the the, uh, the protocols in play for this is a medra dose pack which is an anti anti-inflammatory medication as you know we're going to hit him up with that, uh, back off of his throwing. Uh, he'll start the season on the DL uh, and um, to get him going back on track. Uh, it just feels like between the inflammation holding his, holding him back from, from as he continues, it's like he's working against himself is what we believe is going on right now as he's trying to force now things through. It's creating more inflammation that's preventing him from, from being fully loose and engaged. And so we need to call timeout. And it's as simple as that. It, we feel it's resolvable. Um, the worry is only that we don't have them available from the beginning. Uh, there's not a worry past that. Um, unfortunately, since opening day is coming, you know, uh, there's always that feeling of everything has to be perfect or everybody has to be ready to go and in play. Uh, we've been around long enough to know that it doesn't have to be that way and it shouldn't be that way. What we need to do is make sure we have them right. And uh, um, so that's what's happening you know, with Dylan Batanzas, and he'll be available to talk to you, you know, after today's game. Brian, is this more of a measure to kind of protect him from trying to rush to be ready early, or? I think it's more of a measure of us reacting to all the new information, you know. So, uh, you know, again, you, you, you evaluate what you see on the field. You see, you know, in his case, you're seeing the radar guns. Uh, we know that he's had a history in the past. Uh, of slow starting, but this was a little bit more longer and and more significant than we recall, and then all of our you know historical information showed. So we've continued to pepper him up with questions, um, and you know so again he's searching for answers like we are, and so it led to you know a collaborative effort of shared information, which is you know maybe you know he didn't think it was as big a deal, but maybe you know he did acknowledge that he didn't throw it as consistently and as much as he didn't past winners, um, so it set him back, but he thought it was a, uh, a gap that he could close rather quickly, which probably has worked against him, which has caused this uh, right shoulder impingement. And, um, and now 
that last outing, I think, was, you know, I think an example of it's not getting better. It's actually maybe even getting a little worse then, and we're inflaming the situation by by running them out there on your normal protocols and, and pitching programs. So we need to give it a, a timeout uh, and hit it with an anti-inflammatory so we can you know, restart that clock. I'm not saying restart the clock from the beginning, but just restart the clock by, by getting the inflammation out so you can get full extension and, and be back on track and be the Dylan that we're used to seeing. And, and, uh, and if it takes an extra 15 days or more, I don't have a time frame on it, so be it. Uh, I don't think this is a long situation. I just think it's, it's one that I think it's best for us to react to now. How long is he shut down for? You know, I, it's a good question. Uh, the Metro Dose Pack usually is, I think, a, a five or six day uh, process. I think he can, I think, you know, I think he can throw on flat ground during that process, but I don't believe he'll throw off a mound, in my opinion. Um, but now, I'm, I hate to say this, I usually don't riff like this, but I'd say it's probably going to keep him off the mound for the week. Uh, but I do think he can flat ground a flat ground throw program, so and then get him going again. Um, that's my initial thought. But I, you know, I've had a lot of different meetings going on today, and they're all good. So, uh, but it's prevented me from asking that good question you just asked. No, as you know, like his typical winner is he. You know, a lot of times he'd go down to the Dominican Republic for an extended period of time. Um, so again, when they're away from you and doing their their off-season programs, and you know they have the protocols and, and you stay in touch with them. But uh, but obviously with the breaks and stuff, you know I can't fault them for being a, a father first and expected father first. And and I don't think any of this from his expectation was going to be problematic. Um, but now that we're here, you start trying to do the CSI, the Bronx, and recreate, like, all right, well, how'd we get here? Um, and this is all, I'm just sharing with you the narrative that within the last 24 to 48 hours, we've been trying to piece together, um, you know, as our pitching coach is, you know, he pushed them back. Uh, I think you guys all saw that he was scheduled potentially to throw yesterday, but that was an old schedule that, that got torn up and pushed back and adjusted already. And, you know, obviously you saw something that, that you know, wasn't you know accurate uh, recently, but he still was listed despite being changed. But you've seen us try to make adjustments, and typically you want to throw through this stuff and build arm strength. But but again, when you start you know piecing other puzzle pieces and new data points together with you know again the velo that you're seeing or the lack of velo you're seeing, as well as the new narrative of listen, maybe I didn't throw as well as I typically or as much as I consistently did in years past, and all these things are contrib contributing. And then you offer up, hey, we, we can do a more of an invasive test. It wasn't a die contrast; it was just a regular MRI, and see what shows up there. And if there's something there, if you're open to that, if that because when he starts talking about like I'm not sure if I'm getting full extension, I feel a little weak, uh, you know, it's something maybe restricting not. You know, my words, not necessarily his, but why can't he get, in his mind, fully extended? What's preventing that? That's where that extra velo is going to be coming from and building from. So that's why they thought of, well, we can do an MRI and see if there's something else going on here that, you know, you don't, hasn't declared itself as pain. And thankfully, you know, uh, it just showed inflammation um, that, you know, we feel we can address with the, with the anti-inflammatory medica medication. And, and then just turn, turn back the clock a little bit and then reset and restart and, and get him going. And, and you know, our expectation is, well, sooner than later, you're going to see the, the Dellen that you're used to seeing rather than the Dellen we've been seeing right now. Question about Jonathan Loa is here. This situation opened. <coughs> okay. No, I'm told. No, I'm told impingement is really a different word for inflammation. It's kind of a similar <coughs> thing. It's so. When is uh, the Dallas game here? Uh, Gio? Gio? He's here. Okay. Yeah, he got here earlier and he took a physical and he's passed. So he'll now go into the Larry Rothschild uh, uh, university program and see where it takes us. You uh, any more or less encouraged with Hicks? How he feels? Anything? Says he feels better. But he's not really doing anything yet, so I mean, so I, I feel good by that. But until he's doing what he's doing, you know, what we're used to seeing him do, you know, it's too early to tell. But uh, again, expectations are that his situation is resolvable or is on the verge of resolving, and 
Yeah. But that's what you say when you're sitting in this spot right now, regardless. So. Between Severino, Hicks, Dellen, do you feel like you're taking some <coughs> major hits early, or that fit that you maybe dodge some bigger bullets? Taking hits, but but there are also things that you expect too. Um, you know, it's not the way you would draw it up, but but at the same time, it's it's part of a playing season where you're going to be down for a period of time. So so when you're dealing with them, you know, then there's degree of of hits, and these are resolvable ones. Uh, they, these have timing, expiration timing tags to them. Um, for that, you're thankful. You'd rather not be going through any of it, but but when you are going through it, and you know, then you think, well, things could be worse. They could be worse. These are resolvable, and we'll be getting, you know, some high ceiling, talented, contributing players that that are part of the reason you're going to have success. You know, although they're down now, they're they're going to be coming back, um, and that's the that's my information that I can convey to our fans through you. And uh, at the same time, it's going to create opportunities for others others to step up or fill in the gaps. And, and uh, you know, whether it's a Luizaga or a Herman or a Sessa or, or you know, who, who, you know, does this resolve in the short term the, the choice of one of the other first basemen being on the club or, or where's Tyler Wade fit in under these circumstances, where Clint Frazier fits into these circumstances and who gets opportunities and, and how do you reconfigure and, you know, there's a reason the, the team was built a certain way, so we would be protected a lot of different ways. And, uh, you know, it's going to get tested, whether it's early, middle, or late. And right now, in some cases, it'll be tested early. So be it. You're not afraid of it. No, it's not what you pr prefer, but, but, but you know it's there and it's coming all the time. And so, you, you know, we'll deal with it. Okay, guys. The game's almost over. Levi, if you want to grab a Thank you. Okay. Thank you.